So many patients after our procedure have, uh, when they examine themselves, they feel some veins around the testicle and they have concern at why they are still there. So I will explain this. This is spermatic cord and this is testis. And there is an artery inside the spermatic cord feeding the testicle, sometimes two arteries. And around the, there are two, three type of veins. One is gubernicular veins that drain the testis to scrotal skin. One is the external spermatic vein, which comes here in the side of spermatic cord and enters the testis. And the other one is uh, internal veins. They are here. Sometimes they are not as large as the external vein, but sometimes they are very large. This is the internal spermatic vein? Yes, internal spermatic vein. But they are many in number. So, most of the time, the biggest vein is this external vein. And it's very easy to remove this one. As we take the pictures, we show you, it's separated from the arteries. It's away from the arteries. Yeah. And we can easily cut it from here and we remove a very long segment easily. This will not be seen now. We take the testis out, deliver the testis and remove this. This will not be seen. But the internal veins, they are always in a complex structure. Mm -hmm. And when we make the cut here in the inguinal region and we see these veins, they are like this one branch at the beginning, then divides into two. When they come closer to testicle, then divides, make connections, divisions. They become very complex close to the testicle. And between them or beside, there are arteries, sometimes more than one. So we can mostly resect the part which are these branches come together and they make a one bigger vein. And this is usually located in the upper part. When they move down, they are divided into many branches. So in such cases, we resect as long as possible from the upper part this is sometimes five centimeters, sometimes 10 centimeters. What are you saying? Resect. What's the reset? Remove. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. We yeah, remove yeah. this part. We want to remove all the veins, yeah. but these branched parts impossible to remove. And they are usually located in the downside. And here around the testis, they are separated. So usually after the operation, in the operation site, we will see just the artery. Now I will look with ultrasound, but close to testis, we, we can see these veins. I am sure we will see because you said you felt some veins there, yeah. right? How do you feel? What do they look like? How did you understand? When you touch, what do you feel? It just feels, it felt yesterday, it felt quite prominent, quite, uh, not exactly the same as before, yeah. but the same in the same area and they felt quite large. Now, in some people, the external vein, for example, the external wave is very big, maybe five millimeter, and the internal veins are smaller. In such cases, they will feel nothing. And in some cases, the internal vein does not divide into branches, and until the, te till the testicle, it comes as a single branch. And we can reset, we can remove a longer segment. Mm -hmm. But every time, when it comes to testicle, it will divide into branches, and we can not remove these branches. Mm -hmm. So in some cases, they feel completely empty after the procedure. Mm -hmm. But in some cases, you can feel the veins around the testicle. Anyway, in normal conventional procedures, they, they don't remove this 10 centimeter long segment. So it increases the, our success rate. And uh, they don't remove the, this external vein. They just make a ligation here, ligation here, cut in between and expect this vein to resolve. So let me, let me see what you have now and discuss this. And the gubernacular vein here, yeah, this it, was ligated? Yes, this, I ligate this usually. Sometimes it is very large, so I remove it. But when I remove, we uh, lose the connection of the testis to scrotal skin. Because these, they are here attachments to scrotal skin. So when I deliver the testis, take the testis out, and then I pull the skin, 
it comes back to its original position. But we, if we lose this connection, it is difficult to so place. You, you the, never take out the gubernacular? Usually, very rarely. If it is very long, I al always try to leave some connections here, attachments. If it is very long, gubernacular is very long here, I remove some parts, but always leave some attachment with this scrotal skin. Uh, yeah. But in most of the cases, gubernacular veins are not very large. They are in moderate size, maybe 2 mm, maybe 2.5. They are around this, but I want to cut the connection. I ligate them because when we stop the blood circulation here, it may go through the gubernacular vein. The blood may be drained through gubernacular vein, and this will make the varicose cell to recur. I see many recurrent cases. They have nothing here, just gubernacular veins. So we don't know if gubernacular veins are as harmful as the other veins, but in the ultrasonography, radiologists see the veins and they say, oh, this is a recurrence. So I don't want to have radiologic or clinic recurrence. So I want to at least ligate them and cut the connection of the drainage. Where will the blood will be drained. So there is also sperm channel was deferens. It go in a shorter route to main bloodstream. It has one artery and it has veins. These veins drained into the main bloodstream in a shorter route, not as long as the spermatic veins. So the blood will come here from the arteries and will be drained from the vasal veins. We try to stop all the venous drainage of the internal and external and gubernacular veins. Just a question about this. So yesterday, this felt more prominent yeah. when I was standing, but then I laid on my back for a while and yeah. it went down. Yeah. So where is, where is the blood coming from? from yeah. Very good question. Artery is bringing blood. So they try to go back from their old route, but it is blocked now. There's a blockage, we removed this part. Mm -hmm. So this is a blind route. So blood comes here and stops. They cannot move. But and gravity it, is this. But still, artery is bringing blood. So the, it is filled with blood, blood. It has to be drained. So it is forcing the old route, but it, not, it cannot find a way. But why would it be more, why would it go down when I'm lying yeah, down? So now, here, when it cannot go from this route, it moves to gubernacular vein, this vein, gubernacular yeah. vein, and it is drained from here. So sometimes it will feel like this, but it will be swollen, but then it will find the way through the gubernacular vein, and by time, these branches will disappear because okay. there is no continuation of these veins anymore. Okay, let me see what you have now.